Radio, and welcome back to another late night recording of Starfield. So we're on Earth right now. Uh, you may, may not be able to tell from the landscape, but this is actually London. Yeah. In frosty temperatures like this, there's nothing better <coughs> than a flask of a good English whiskey to keep you warm. Speaking of English whiskey, we could probably find some buried around here somewhere, given the uh, locale we are at. Mercury? Hold on. But we're not on Mercury, we're on Earth. Ooh, amazing. So this obviously isn't something I could mine. This is like a another one of those things where I don't know what to do to get it. I don't know what the method of obtaining that ore is. Anyway, off to this next little thing here. It's not too far off, so I don't think I'll have to pause the episode or anything. But it's natural. The landscape on Earth certainly has changed. Water. Wow. A little pocket of water here. Um, eh, no way it's liquid. No way there's liquid water with no atmosphere. That's physically not how water works. Whatever. No direct path seen. What do you mean? Direct path to where? What, to this little cave? To this natural over here? I'm shipping on a straight story. No, I, I think I've probably already made that joke. I almost certainly have. It's not even a joke, it's just the lyrics to a song. A very good song, actually. Chlorine. By 21 Pilots. So, ooh. Oh, I don't want that. What is this all about? What is in here? What is making the gloopy sounds? What are these disconcerting gloopy sounds all about? What's their story? What heck? Mushrooms? What heck? It sounds like I'm surrounded by clicking beetles. But they're definitely not clicking beetles. I do see more of these mushrooms, though, which do seem to be able to grow in zero atmosphere, so... There's that. And they make clicking beetle sounds, apparently. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in this cave for me, so out I go. I saw something else, but nah. Yeah. Okay, so for the next location, I'm probably going to pause and just... Okay, what? Hold on, what did you say to me? Chlorosilicate? Canes? Chlorosilicanes. Interesting. Alrighty. There certainly are a lot of them here, aren't there? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna pause the episode until I get to this next little part, and then I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, I'm back a little bit before I got there, because just look at this. This is like a crater site? Man, this game is hecking pretty. Like, there are so many games in the past, like Oblivion, for instance, where you'll be, like, walking around, and it's just like a, a weird little lump that they call a hill. Geophysical feature. Wow, it's just a whole crater. It's just an entire crater. Wow. So is there anything in this crater? Unknown feature? Well, meteorite fragmented during impact, creating a trail of scattered debris. Iron meteorite fragments. Is there more? It says I have one of three, so there have to be more. Yeah, over here. More fragments. It's two of three, so there's one more set of fragments somewhere for this meteorite. Well, I mean, I guess that's not a scannable one. There it is. So what are you all about? Is this going to give me anything new? Uh, I guess not, but I did get, like, the scanny for the whole planet for doing that, so that's nice. That's fucking neat. That's so nice. Alrighty, let me look at my map. So there's the landing area. 
I need to go to Neptune. Is there anything else for me to search here? Let me see. Um, yes, it's way out there. It's way out there. This is a kilometer away? Dude, that's a, such a hacking trek. Oh, man. Um, well. I guess off I go. That's the other one. Yeah, that's... That's a massive distance to go. Let me get out of this crater, and then obviously I'll pause the episode and get myself over to that long distance area. It's just so much nothing. But, like, this is space. This is what space exploration would be. You just find a planet with a whole bunch of nothing. And granted, this is Earth, so this was technically a settled planet, but it's had enough time to, like, erode away and destroy the landscape that now it's basically a fresh new world to explore. And there's something beautiful about that that I really enjoy. Alrighty, well. Uh, let me make sure I have the right heading here, and then I'll just uh, give us a pause and be right back. Okay, so I need to turn to the right a bit, like... 45 degrees to the right, and I'll be pretty much good. Uh, alrighty, I'll be right back once I get there. Okay, just another update. I've been walking for like 10 minutes, it feels. I've probably been a little bit less than that. But I've gotten out of the cragginess of the city, and now I'm just in like a desert plain. Like, that's the terrain that we came from. You can barely see the tower in the background. And, um,. Yeah, I'm still running. I'm, like, nowhere even close to where I have to be. Like, look how far I still am. And that's how far I've already gone. This is hecking huge. But, I mean, that's planets. <laughs> like, that's just how they work. At least it's going to be a lot easier to just kind of sprint along. Alrighty, well, I'll pause the episode again and be back once I get there. One moment for you. For me, it's gonna be like 30 minutes. Uh, be right back. Okay, midway to my destination, I came across a cave. So let's check that out. Uh, I still have a, a long way to go to get to the destination that was on the map, but here's a little cave, so we may as well check it out, yeah? What's in here? What's this place all about? Is this just one of them standard standard fair cave layouts that we've been experiencing? Uh, there's water. There's like mist here. A rock pile. What's in here? Just iridium and uranium? I don't really need those. Oh, ooh, got a little turned around. So, chlorosilicanes, tetrafluorides, I do with you? I don't know. Uh, I guess over here is where I go next. Yeah, just one of the standard fair, standard issue caves, I guess. There is a box in here, though. How did this get here? Is this a relic from, like, Earth Age, or is it like a... Did someone get here and leave it here? It sounds like water falling, but that obviously can't be right. Still very misty, very foggy. I'm all turned around. I have no idea where I am right now. Well, this cave doesn't seem terribly interesting. Is this where I came in from? Hmm. Yeah, and it's not like, uh, well, I mean, it's a, it's Earth, so it's a 1G. I just went around in a circle. That's good news for me. Okay, well, I guess I'll follow the arrows. See where they lead me. Up here. Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Aluminum. Lithium. Don't want to lock me up inside lithium. Don't want to forget how it feels without lithium. 
Can I go? Okay, thank you. Alrighty, so... As you can see, I am still a good distance away from my destination. I'm most of the way there, but it's still going to be a bit of a trek, so I'm going to pause the episode and I'll be right back. One moment. I think we'll experience this little final stretch together. Apparently it's a cave. I don't know if it's going to be a special cave or not, but honestly the journey was worth whatever destination this is. Just like... So, I, I'm probably just a weirdo, but just traversing this vast, endless expanse of sand and rock gives me a lot of, like, uh, what's the word? It, there are real places on Earth right now that are just this. Massive expanses of sand. I am over four kilometers away from my ship that I just ran. And it felt like ages. But there are places on Earth that are like hundreds of kilometers of this that people actually traverse, like, somewhat frequently. And that is just such like a revelation to experience. That like, no matter how insurmountable something seems, you can do it, even if you just take it bit by bit. What are you? What's this toxic sludge about? You okay, Sarah? Does that not like burn your little peats? Well, it certainly burns my peats. Extreme heat. Extreme heat, in fact. Not your, your, this ain't your grandparents' heat. This is extreme. Okay, let's go into the cave. Let's see if there's anything neat and cool in here. Or if it's just the standard fair cave. So, mercury, nice. Water, always cool. A rock pile, okay. This seems to be a different layout, as far as caves go. Antimony? Well, I'm gonna take that. What's in here, though? Cobalt and lead? Well, I don't need that, but I'm gonna take the antimony. Because I have not seen it in the game yet, and it's all golden, and it lures me in and wants me to, to grab it. So I'm going to. Alrighty. There's another branch off that way that I'll go to. And nothing really over here, unfortunately. Just a little pile of chlorine, which I don't know how to extract. Well, I suppose antimony is pretty rare, so that was probably my reward for the trip. I mean, honestly, the reward for the trip was just seeing the sights. Oh, and it's daytime! It's about to be daytime! Man, this... It's like sad and pretty. Like, what's the word for that? I guess melancholy. But like... I don't know. Let me climb to the top of this hill. I just want to see the sunrise. So I know that there's like a limit where you just hit an invisible wall. But like, just look at all that. Just all of that. That's just a place you can go. Okay, I, I know there are other games that have done similar things, like No Man's Sky having like literal, actual entire planets you can explore, but for one, no Man's Sky has very small planets. Like, they, they're nowhere near an actual planet size. Um, and while you can only explore little patches of planets at a time in Starfield, it makes it feel a lot more real. Because you just have all this empty space of nothing that's like, oh, this is just one little patch of a planet. I don't know. I like it. Anyway, Razor Leaf. Let me get on here. Let's go to Neptune now. I've experienced all I want to experience here. Oh, I mean, this sunrise, though. Like, I want to experience that. But, alas, that would take a little bit too long. And I've got an episode I need to record. So let's get back into space. Take off. Yes. 
shield is still offline. Back into space. Just created some glass, I'm sure, for my engine sitting in the sand there. Alrighty, say farewell to Earth, perhaps for the final time, and head over to Neptune. Uh, so that would be here. Yes. Now, I guess I just travel here? That's another thing. For a lot of places, it's just like, go there. There's no marker specifically for you where you need to go. Just go there. That's pretty neat. Alrighty, approach the ship. Where? Wait till you see that. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Hmm, indeed. Let's boost over to them. With max speed engines! Wow! Something's wrong. The ship's about to be powering up. Get ready! Um, oh, uh... Whoops. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. Whoa, dear. Um, how do I target the engines? I don't want to blow up his ship. Um, uh, how do I do this then? I don't want to destroy you, pal, but like... perk to target engines, I don't think. That is one flaw like that's with this, is a lot of the stuff that should be baseline is perks that you actually have to level up and acquire. So like, let's see. Uh, tech, is there like a piloting? How do I... Oh wait. Targeting control systems. Unlock ship targeting functionality. Yeah, like why can't I just have this? Why, why do I have to unlock that? Um, well, bam. I did quick save, so I'm probably just gonna ram him. Oh, I got That's it. it. Neat. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Okay. So, R. Let's get on this ship. Save him from the mercs. Ramming does work. I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Okay, board. Pull out my pistol. Get ready for whatever awaits me on here. A bitten sandwich? Well, obviously I want that. Why wouldn't I? The bite mark makes it even more delicious. Bam. Bam, gotcha. Let me reload. Where are you? What are you talking about? They're gone. Gotcha. Did you pick? You shouldn't have. Now I'm going to steal all of your secrets. I, you don't mind if I take all of these things as payment for saving you, do you, dude? Um, I'm sure you don't. So that's mine. But those are too heavy. What's over this way? I'm just gonna check out this way first. Biosuppressant. Anabolic agent. I didn't know they put agents in boxes. Hmm. It's a secret to everybody. I don't know what, he, what I'm even saying anymore. A fermented milk? Delicious. And non-fermented milk. They've just got all sorts of dairy products here, don't they? Uh, pizza square. Chunks. Hmm. What's in here? Bathroom? Yes. But I don't need to go right at this moment. I need loot. But I don't think I'm going to find any worthwhile loot now. So let's continue onward. 
who has the loot. Ooh. Shift key credits and some caseless ammo. Uh, not worth taking, unfortunately. Med pack. Okay, so... There we go. So this that guy just had the ship's key and he never decided to come in here? Hey, you okay, dude? Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? My name's Ember, and this Looks is Sarah. Like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Yeah, yep, right. Uh, well, we're from the Explorers Group Constellation. We need to talk. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. Hmm. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. That lighting is a little weird so, for you, Sarah. You know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. Hmm. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Yeah, no. Um. Uh. Well, you're out on patrol for a long time. People were worried. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun zealots, plus ecliptic tracking me down. We ran hmm. into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. Yeah. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie well, mistakes. I mean... I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting oh. for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? Hmm. I've yeah, just been I spending you. more and more time in the Starfield. Ha! <laughs> Starfield credits really roll. Going back. Well, maybe it's time to get out of Seoul. I could use more crew. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. Alright. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Yes. Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Oh, well, that we was figure easy. figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. All right, neat. Bam. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Cool. Okay, so are you going to be chill here? Like, um, you need anything? Your ship's kind of disabled, but you'll be fine, right? You're resourceful. You, you can fix it. Um, the, uh, and mind the bodies. I'm sorry about those. Man, this ship is way bigger than mine. Oof. Giving me ship envy. Look at all these workbenches. I could use some workbenches for my ship. Um, yeah, I guess I just go. Alright, bye, dude. I don't suppose I have time for a nap before we leave? Hmm? I mean, you probably have time for a nap on the trip. Like, it's not gonna be... Tattoo bumpy, I don't think. Oh, there you are. Or you could just chill in here. That's cool, too. So we got the artifact, now we just bring it back to the lodge? No, not board. Uh, undock. There we go. And away we go. I should do that more for ships in space, I think. Lower their shields a bunch and then dock them. That asteroid's really having a time. Uh, dead, dead. But I don't want dead, dead right now, because I need to... Well, do I? Hold on. So what's a good place to go right now? So yeah, he's fine. Pluto. Yeah, let me let me check Pluto out here. Let me just take a look at it. And then of course Sharon. Alrighty. I got my look at them. I'm satisfied. Let's go to the galaxy. And back to Alpha Centauri. Because we need to return to the lodge. Eh. Land. Very nice little fast travel. I don't even have to spin up my grab drive or anything. It just brings me right there. Loads me right on in. But yeah. Uh, so probably next point into targeting control systems. So that I can disable ships easier. Just take out their engines and then board them. Hey, bud, what's I up? I am at your service, Captain. <laughs> we 
have it. Heck Go yeah, ahead. we have it. Do the honors. <laughs> Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Oh. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the Just same as before. Disassembled There's a massive itself. output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, Neat. That's speculation, oh. but I think you're right. We need more. But how many Here. more? You've earned this. What? Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Hey! Oh. It's probably worse than the one I found in the basement, but thank you. Um, what does it mean to be a full member? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. Alrighty. Well, it's an honor to be a part of this. We're going to do great things together. All of us. Yay! By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? Heck, man, I'm, I'm not down. sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you Alrighty. out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Sure. Yeah, you got it, Sarah. Let's get back out there. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. Oh, she loved that. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. Alrighty. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. Gotcha. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Alrighty. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Sounds good. You seem very worried. Uh, who's Sam Co? What's this expedition of his? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let Alrighty. him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, you and stealing people's thunder, Sarah. We wouldn't know anything about that. Flashbacks to last episode. Uh, what's the eye? Who's Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir hmm. runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. So just a little constellation space station? Uh, well, so what should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. All right. Well, let's bye go bye. see him then. Well, I mean, not by. I leveled up. I okay. So I'll probably put this into. Well, let me check these ones. You know what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to that uh, flight simulator thing in the academy and get the rank two in this because it looks like I can get. Uh, I can disable ships by ramming them, which my ship is no, really hacking fast, so I'll arms. probably be able to. We need to be as objective as possible. Um, uh, let me talk to this guy first, since he's right here. I feel like I've been well, I don't want to interrupt. Constellation is the art of facts. Being interrogated by a kid sound crazy. Isn't exactly the best way to make a first impression. Yeah. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And oh, you must hi. be the latest poor <laughs> fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Well, I mean, that's one way to put it. You must be Sam Co, the Free Star Collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, hmm. well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. I don't know about that, but Trust I'm pretty me. tired. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Okay. Hi, Hi Kor. Uh, good to meet you, Kor. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two hmm. about spacecraft, do we? Hey. Don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Yeah, well, I'm not actually flying now, it anymore. Let's talk business. I got a new one. Sarah, tell you about the expedition? Uh, only the basics. Only that I was in Free Star Collective Space. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. All the right. three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city space. That's the last two Texas, isn't it? Frontiers are roll. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on the tale that I mean, it has uh, to be. That sounds exactly like him. One thing. Artifact. 
Well, uh, anything else you know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. Alrighty. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Well, that won't be hard. Well, I'm ready. Let's get to it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Gotcha. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Gotcha. Alrighty, well, uh, I'm gonna do the flight I sim. Hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yes. I'm gonna do the flight sim on like the first and second wave and stuff and see if that gets me my progress required to get to the second rank of the perk. I don't know why, I ju it just felt like I stepped into a different game seeing all of these trees. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just be right back once I've figured that out. Uh, one moment. Okay, officially got rank two, just did the simulation a couple of times. And that gave me all the uh, ship kills that I needed. Some resources, why not? So, where do I gotta go? Where is my destination, so to speak? Um, hmm, uh, I guess I'll look at my log here, um, missions, what do I do into, back to Victera, go there and find out what's happened, the eye, empty nest, okay, I think this is the one, travel to Aquila City, uh, but also I think she said for me to go to Barrett first? Um, okay, well, let me go to the Vectera. Where is Vectera? Let's find out. And Narian. Uh, okay. So go to Narian. And then Vectera. Alrighty. Argos Extractors Mining Uploads Exposed. Okay, land there. And I can just do that. I can do that from anywhere. I don't even have to get back to my ship. Incredible. I used to it appears things so nice. have gone downhill since the last time you were well, here. you're back. Argos oh. has clearly washed its hands of this operation. When? Uh, uh, uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways. But no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Mm. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Oh dear. And since their loss hit you even harder than you realized, you cared about them. You're right. You tell yourself you got deadlines, that the credits are what matter. But it's people doing the job, not machines. Yeah, and I doubt for this job you, you actually have like a focus on computer that says, oh, kill all people for working. Give you a little distance if things go wrong. But you want them to win. Every boss does. Yeah. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. Hmm. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. Oh. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Oh. I know that talk. Suicide mission. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags hmm. him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's well, when they man. brought out Hella. <sighs> it's going so well into that part. I didn't overhear everything. But after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's hmm. the last I saw of either of them. Well... I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. Hmm. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. I get you. Well, 
I'll go ahead and fix that computer then. And then I'll see about finding them. So, you don't mind if I just, like, take things, do you? Since everyone's dead, I can just, like, have everything, right? That's the way this works. The company won't mind, I'm sure. Right, get in here, Sarah. Argos Extractors. Any loot? Where's the loot? Give me all of this loot. There's nothing worth taking, unfortunately. Open the door. I don't know why I pulled out my gun. I don't think I need it. They already left, so I hear- How oh, there's cutter! I found a better cutter. Well, okay. What does it do? What makes it better? So mine's red and it's orange, and that makes it better because it's orange. It has 20% damage against robots, but otherwise it's identical. I mean, I guess. Makes sense to me. Uh, oh, I should put it on... Eh. Take you off. Okay, that's three. So you should be on three, actually. There we go. And then I'll sell my old cutter. Credits. Uh, emergency power cell. What is... How can I... Uh, I'm Sarah! Like, why would you run into me and then scream? Like, that was not very productive of you, Sarah. Just gonna say that right now. Uh, I also didn't appreciate that just personally as a person, you running into me and screaming. I think you should apologize, but you know what I what I think doesn't really matter now, does it, Sarah? Oh, let me unlock the safe because I can. So that, and then just a one. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Um. Well, that doesn't work. But does this work? No, that would never work. Does this work? Yes, it does. And then I could do this one. So, bang. And what was it? Uh, that one. Boom. So now can I use this one? Mm, it would seem no. It would seem the answer to that is no, in fact. Uh, that doesn't work. But that does work. But the only thing about that... Okay. That doesn't work. That does work. And yeah, so I could do that, and then these two. Bam, and bam. Caseless and a grand. That's not worth taking, though. The med pack is, though. Learned to pick. You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. Well, all I did was rank up my um, pick skill and picked better, because that's how it works. Anyway. Uh. Emergency power cell. We've got a lot of emergency power cells here. There must be a lot of emergencies. Plushy Galacticat? Look at him! Look at this boy! Also, I'm, I'm glad I... I uh, that the controls are the same, where you hold E and you get to pick him up and do all this. Because look at this man! He's just dancing. He's just having a great time. Oh no, I've trapped him. Get out of there, Galacticat! You can do it, I believe. Eh. Here, I'll help you out. Nice. Okay, you can go under the desk now, Galacticat. Did I see a credits? No, I didn't. Never mind. I'm out of here. Through this door. Each new little room is an adventure. At least for me. At least I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, go in here. Darts. Space undersuit. I feel like I need that just generally. Also, it's pretty valuable. I mean, not super valuable, but it's pretty valuable. Credit stick, nice. Uh, nothing. Tracker's primer. Permanently increases EM weapon damage by 5%. See, this is why you explore. You get to find little things that permanently increase your stats forever. Well, polytextile, I'll take that. Uh, heal paste. Another space undersuit. Eon, that's worth taking, yes. Playing cards. What's in this locker? Toilet paper. Well, I don't need that right now. And this is the showers. Uh, more space undersuits. These people really liked undersuits. Just a mine, you know, just a fragmentation mine. Just military grade hardware in a mining facility. But, and yes, I understand they use explosives to mine, but it's still funny to me. 
still a silly scenario to just have mines. Like, you'd think they would have specific mining charges. Oh, okay. So those uh, emergency power cells are actually things for me to pick up and utilize. Where's the other one? There's that one. And there must be one more. Somewhere. Uh, or maybe I just work with two. I don't know. I don't know anything, really. Alright, in here. And then... I'll put two of them in there. And where's the last one? Where's that final thingy? That final gosh darn thing. Is it per chance here? When you have the time. Okay, what's up? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. Yeah? When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? I felt pretty unconscious. Uh, I had visions, heard sounds of music. It's difficult to describe. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? I mean, like... Uh, well, let's see. Well, like, my mind, mind and body were out of sync. Mm, that's an interesting reaction. But I suppose it shouldn't surprise me. When hmm. dealing with the artifacts, common sense tends to go right out the window. Yeah. Well... That's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The it artifacts was an are out so of body different, experience. So alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. So these artifacts. Um yeah, it definitely felt like it was trying to communicate. Agreed. Were they created by an ancient civilization? No or are they the ancient civilization? And believe me, I've been or trying maybe to. Maybe they were just a product of reality. Who knows? Um, well, what sort of data have you gathered? Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Hmm. Well, the whole experience must be incredibly frustrating. Frustrating? No. <laughs> Bewildering? Yes. Yeah, that's probably a better word it for it. It would be... No, oh, well... An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I bet. Then we'll get to the bottom of this mystery, together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Heck yeah, man. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And for keeping an open mind. Yeah, I like you, sir. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Yay. Alrighty. Um, well, we need one more emergency power cell. You wouldn't happen to have that, would you, Sarah? I didn't think so. So I will be picking this lock with my amazing lock picking skills that I've gathered over generations of like five days of leveling up and being better at lock picking locks. What do you want from me? Okay, so I'll do that one. And then that. Bam. Easy money. Easy money. Heck yeah, Sarah. You've got the right idea. Did you pick? Nice. Did you pick for my troubles? And a watermelon. A watermelon and a did you pick for my troubles? That's exactly what I needed. So that says two of three, yes, so I need one more still. Am I just gonna be wandering around for hours looking for the emergency thing? Or is it just gonna be like right in front of me somewhere and I just I'm not looking I'm not seeing it when I'm looking. Uh, see, this is a thing about me. When I'm specifically looking for something, I will never find it. There's a door here. Maybe it's in here. Uh, but when I'm not looking for something, I tend to just, like, find it immediately. My per my IRL perception is, like, two, but my IRL luck is, like, a seven or eight. And that's generally me. <laughs> just overall... Uh, the only thing is, like, luck is, like, a... It's... 
it's the kind it's there's an a, there's a quantity of luck that you possess and you eventually exhaust yourself of it and then it, you just kind of have to wait for it to build back up cuz i can be incredibly lucky in like a series of events that are really good and then just have nothing good happen like at all ever and it just it just goes terribly but then the next day it's like fine Oh, credits. I'll take those. So there's one more emergency power thing that has to be somewhere. But where? Where, I wonder. I guess I'll pause the episode until I find it. I hope it's not outside this building. Uh, or maybe I don't even need it. Let me just go to the thing and see what it does. With two out of three in there. Computer's unpowered. So could you pull out data storage? Pull out some data components and download the contents onto a slate. There used to be an audio transmission. Okay. Oh, I can just do that. Um, oh, okay. Let me find that. Notes. Come. Emergency transmission. Would you believe we got into this mess? Would you be quiet? I'm trying to make out the graph jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. Mm. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue gotcha. us. Repeat. Rescue us. Okay, you don't have to scream, dude. I am on my way. So... I guess I didn't need that third one after all. Well, guess I'll just not even look for it. I can take these? No, it's already inserted. Okay. Well, let's go rescue them then. And then I'll ask the dude, I've already forgotten his name, if I can sell his ship. Because I don't really need it. Put on your suit, Sarah. Good. All right, where are we going now? Hey, Lynn. We gotta go rescue them. So. Oh yeah, I, you I'm over actually here. Actually, get that computer working again? I mean, kinda. Found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Barrett, that's his name. Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Mm. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Okay. Um, thanks, Lynn. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. Alrighty. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Sure. Optional recruit Lynn's crew. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to come along, I'm totally down. First off, let me... Well, eh. Nah, I've spent enough time here. Uh... Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it? Yeah. So I guess I'll come back once I have the... The idiots, I guess, for lack of a better term. Who got themselves captured like morons. But I'm a smart dude. I'm a smart cookie, so I'll I'll find him and I'll rescue them. Where, you where to? We're gonna go rescue those fools. It's where to? Oh, hi, Sam. Hold on. Sam, uh, last month, hmm? did you explore that system I asked about? I was expecting a report. Well, I meant to, but then I caught an SLS and it went to this. Mm. Oh, stress. Oh. So, did you do it? No, I mean, I meant to, but then it became this whole thing. An ambassador was involved. An ambassador? Oh, 
that's not good. I love this. <laughs> I love how just pieces of space will randomly get really excited and start spinning out of control. That does just kind of look like a ship though, doesn't it? Anyway. Um, do I have to be here? It just says optional recruit Linus crew. I'll be back and I'll recruit her later. But for now, I gotta go uh, to Altair. Jump. Okay, so I gotta take some. I'll take some out of shield and put it in grab. It's gonna take a few seconds, but it's fine. That's a really neat visual. Alrighty, here we go. Whoa, blinding white light. Alright, back and shoot. This is research outpost U309 to any and all free star collective craft. We are under heavy fire. Hostile spacers are over. All right, well, I guess that's where we're going. Crashed ship. Land. Let's heck and save some fools. Well, this is some interesting landscapes. Huh. Is the ground salt or snow? I can't tell. The way it sounds, I'm gonna go with salt. Extreme solar radiation. Oh dear. That's not good. That's no bueno. Extreme cold and extreme radiation. Oof. Uh, well, there's a lot of nickel here. Don't rush the scan. Wouldn't want to overlook anything valuable. Alright. Well, I need to go to the crash ship first. And then I'll check out all these structures. It's not too far, so I probably don't have to pause the episode for that. What's that over there? Natural? Just those spikes coming out of the ground, eh? Okay, let me go scan that. Hmm. Or I guess that was just water, so I scanned when I was closer. There's only two resources here? Huh. Well, plus there's like a unique survey I, that I'm assuming that's what that circle is. And I would get the survey data for the planet, and I can go sell it to that dude. Okay. Trucking along. Here's the crashed ship. Hey, Barrett. You there? You want your frontier back? Oh. Well, there's Heller. Hey, Heller, you okay? Oh, hey, it's you. In here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Heck yeah, lucky you. Hold still, let me patch you up. Nah, nah, I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Uh. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Yeah. Man. I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Well, that doesn't explain the crashed ship. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. Oh, oldest trick in the trick book, the friend. Pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. Mothership Zeta, another remember him shouting uh, three. This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these early whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. The Barrett reached for one of their guns. Pew pew. Uh and he shot something he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Hmm. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. So both of those were accurate. I blacked out. 
And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. Yeah, I mean... You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Man, wow. he did Should have stayed conscious, loser. Idiot, stupid. <laughs> the finger gun? Okay, cool. But Baron isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? Yeah, you so, may have. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. Oh, and nice. Then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. There really is just like the this universe's version of a bard. They were all gone. Didn't they? Uh, so. They took him, why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. All right. Well, the Crimson Fleet has him. I was Again. drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Space. We're in space, though. There you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. I mean, sure. Uh, should we get you back to Argos? I think Argos is probably gonna write this whole thing off. Plus, I'm 90% sure working for you would be safer. I hope. Are we sure are getting a lot of companions, aren't we? Let's get you on your feet first. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, that's fine. <sighs> Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is, yeah. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Alright, great. Let me know when you want to head out. Cool. Um... Optional. Recruit Heller as crew? Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. I mean, maybe. Uh... I mean, yeah, let's keep going. Whew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? I don't know. Manage your crew. Review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills, which can enhance your ship or outposts. So I need to start putting outposts down, huh? Uh, confirm. Wait, Sarah. Confirm. So, yeah, now both Sarah and Heller are assigned to my razor, uh, leaf. But I need to put down outposts. Okay. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Yes, sir. Okay, well, now I know what to expect when I recruit Lynn. So, salmon filet. Just kind of chilling here, huh? What's the temperature here? Yeah, negative 145. You are chilling here. Quite literally. Ooh, the gravity is low. This is good news for me. How do I get in there? How do I get inside of this ship? So that I can loot it for everything it's worth. Did, did, is, does this remove my opportunity to go into the ship? Because this looks really strange. Yeah, I guess so. Well, dag nab, well darn. Well, heck. Shoot dang as they say in the biz. Do I just leave now? Am I, am I just to, to leave? Um, yeah, I guess back to Narian now. Uh, well, I mean, I guess this would be a good place to end the episode. Uh, I kind of want to check out the rest of this planet before I leave, but I'm kind of out of time. Uh, so yeah, um, Thanks for watching this episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Don't if you don't. It, that's also fine. Um, I was a lot more muted in this episode because I'm trying to be more quiet because it's in the middle of the night. 
but I should be more animated the next episode, question mark? I guess it just depends on when I can get around to doing this. I've been playing a lot of RuneScape lately because Necromancy came out and I need to get it up to level 99 to maintain my max cape, but yeah, other than that, I've been really enjoying Starfield. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode. Hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. See you then. Buh bye bye